Uh, recently, I've been doing this uh, Halloween project where I get a bunch of people on my server, uh, give them like costumes, and then I try to make a video out of it. So, um, this task is already difficult because in a case that I don't have existing assets for the character I want to make a costume for, I have to create by scratch. For example, this uh, full out armor guy, uh, everything but the helmet is handmade. But I I'm not done here uh, because I have to later on make this properly animatable and that means I need to weld it properly and rig it properly. And if you, uh, and you have to do this for all the costumes that require it. So the problem here is uh, I have this rig here. This character model for now this is the R15 and I have this uh, model here. And the idea is I want to combine these two to have this animatable model. Uh, the rig here has all the animation components. You can animate this. In this model, you have the exterior armor, the appearance, but you can't animate it. And uh, the idea for uh, this uh, uh, for idea for this video is that I have this single code where if you run it in the console log, you can. And let me just select the target and then the model. Do that instantly. So in this video, I'll be explaining how you can set this up and how you can uh, use this code. In my case, uh, I start with a R15 uh, model. But uh, I, I couldn't start with just the R15 model because uh, this thing hasn't been properly set up yet. So I can't just ungroup it, otherwise I'll mess up the hats here, and that's due to the humanoid property inside here, inside of the model. So, and another thing is that like there's a bunch of extraneous, unnecessary components inside every single one of these limbs. So one thing I had to do was I uh, uh, copy this in, and I paste, uh, clear the console log, paste this in, select it, and this is important, you need to select the model that you want to strip, and then you apply it and you run the code and then now you have a clean model with just the limbs there's no shirt because I got rid of the humanoid you can just simply ungroup and you can just build over now step two is building over it in this case I decided to make the understroke black I also made the limbs a little bit more thicker I don't okay no, apparently not and I also gave it a, I also got rid of its head because I decided to not mess with the head, not add any kind of armor or parts to it, welded to it. And I produced this, uh, uh, this uh, armor here. I have the chest plate, the limb, limb armor, whatever, right? Step three is incredibly important because this is how uh, the code understands which, uh, which armor should be uh, appended to uh, which limb. And how I do this, how it does this is, it, it, it look, it, um, you, okay, first of all, to set this up, you have the model, right? And you also have the limb associated with the model. For example, this uh, chest piece, it would be associated with this upper torso. What you have to do is you have to group the model and the limb together. That way, you have the model with the upper torso inside and the armor uh, where uh, with uh, that is associated with the upper torso. In the end, you have this uh, model where uh, you know every single model parented directly to this outer model is has the armor component and then this limb component. It's not important how, or, how how the armor itself is organized. In fact, you can ungroup this thing and the script should work. It doesn't matter how the hierarchy of this armor part works. What's important is that it has this limb and it has a unique name and this name exists in the character model of your character rig. And the final step, and this is the time saver, is that you have this auto rig weld script. You select all, copy it, and then you you clear the uh, console and then you run this code but before you run this code you need to select the character rig that you want to animate over and the and the model that you want to apply to and if you run this 
it will create this model, which is perfectly animatable. Let me show this. If I have this rig test thing open, and let me rename this thing as 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 uh, demo. And if I were to add this armor, I, I should be able to like I uh, like add it properly. And as you can see, if I move its arm, its arm will move properly as well. Its armor, and if I move this chest, it spins around properly. So as you can see, this works properly with the R15 rig that it is associated with. Not only that, uh, this uh, creates a very, very clean hierarchy uh, organized uh, organization in the model. So as you can see here, there's now this new accessories folder inside of this otherwise, uh, uh, otherwise like untouched character rig. I mean, if you were to delete this, it would just go back to its original character rig. So this accessory folder will um, contain all the model parts. And it's separated, so like the fake limbs uh, have, you know, it, it contains all the welds associated with the um, the model. And it has, it's properly named, so, you know, left foot and left foot armor. Are, 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 the left foot armor is named left foot, right? So, you know, if you wanted to get rid of some of the armor here or you want to edit later on, you can, like, uh, do it by that. Now, uh, one thing I modified uh, before I released this is you can generalize this to any rig. So in this case, I have this rig for this bunny robot thing. So um, it has all its uh, uh, limbs named. And not to mention, I need to mention this. Um, this would not work if all the limbs are not parented directly to the model. So you can't just have some of these uh, grouped together. They have to be parented directly to the model. And you can like uh, do the same thing as the R15 model, even though this is not an R15 model. You can just run the script again, and as you can see, uh, all the exterior parts has been uh, like attached to the character rig's limbs. Uh, that's pretty cool, right? I think I could see this being used beyond animation. Uh, for example, like uh, if a game has like alternate skins, you can like uh, produce a bunch of alternate skins. With this process you know uh thank you for watching uh i hope you can i hope you can like and subscribe there might be more tutorials later on and uh, uh join the discord server down in the description uh the code is all the code is uh, released publicly it's in the description as a pastebin and uh thank you very much